Sagittarius, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darlings, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Sagittarius, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. No gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind, okay? Feel the energy. Remember roles can always be reversed. Sag, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so very much for your support of the channel. It is greatly appreciated. All right, Sag, you're coming in hot here. Um, your energy is really, really, really uh, intense. Um, not because of your fire, but more of your intuition. I, f the, I feel like your intuition is heightened right now. Maybe the moon energy. I, I am pulling from the queen of the moon oracle for you. Um, but I feel really... I feel very heightened in your energy. Uh, I feel very aware. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to say it. You may have the ear burning, the ear itching, you know, how your ears heat up, face start itching, things like that. Whatever your physical um, responses are to your intuition kicking in or your third eye opening, that might be increasing around this time. Yeah, let's see what's going on. All right, Sagittarius, please. Hello, <laughs> there's the focus, yeah. Um, if you feel a bit overwhelmed because of these heightened abilities or this intense intuition, focus, okay? Um, this is a transformation time for you. This is a transformation time, I think, for many um, enlightened people, uh, but specifically with Sagittarius, um, you have a great ability of protection for yourself. Uh, how can I say that? You know how I always say you guys are like secret squirrels. You're very, you know, uh, guarded uh, with your personal business, you know, things like that. You're very protective of yourself, you know, as rightfully so. But it's almost as if you have created like uh, your own personal energetic field. But because of your personal energetic field and your abilities heightening, it's almost if you can imagine like um, the pinball that boom, 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 you know, hitting the walls in the pinball machine. It's like that. How that's how your energy feels to me. Like you're increasing your abilities, but because of the field, it's like, it's boom, 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 boom. You're getting hit two, three times. You, you know what I'm saying? Um, so focus. Okay. Um, I like the water here. Water may help you maybe, um, taking a hot soak, hot bath. If you haven't had one in a while, um, you know, because everybody showers. I ain't saying y'all stink. Shut up. Uh, but water, drinking water, being around water. Uh, water always helps with you because you're fire. So it cools you down a bit. You know, it calms you down a bit. Uh, peace is coming in for you. So you are going to get control of this quite shortly. It won't be long. All right. And then you'll see the beauty of the uh, intense abilities that you have or the heightened abilities that you have. It looks like this um, new gift or this heightened gift is to assist you with your manifestations. OK, um, almost as if you're in the process of creating a new, not new. Um, hmm, help me with my words, not a new goal but a new path to a goal, if that, you, you know? So if, I don't know, maybe if you're, if you're playing, just to give you an example of what I'm trying to say, if your plan, let's say, was to go to college to become, I don't know, uh, a mechanic, 
then now the plan is to go to a trade school and become a mechanic. Same um, achievement, just a different direction, y okay? That's how I feel in this energy. Like there is, um, the goal is the same. The destination is unchanged, but the path towards it is changing, okay? Um, I love the integrity and power that comes in with sovereignty because I think you're at your best when you feel like this. When you're in power, because that is your natural element of fire, that passion and focus and strength and confidence, man, you are like a force to be reckoned with. So it's going to come back. Right now, um, let's just get you back in balance so that you can get back into your true element, okay? Okay. Ooh, all right, Sag, y'all coming in hot. Let me see, what are we going to do with your spread, though? I don't even know what would match this energy. Let's go with Nefertiri. Yeah, we're going to do Nefertiri for your spread today. Okay. Let's see if we can get some details and maybe uh, some tidbits to help you with processing this energy. Um, I, uh, one of you have a, a pain in your right shoulder, it looks like. A pain in your right shoulder. Maybe you slept wrong or something is out of place or it almost looked, if I had to put a word on it, it looked like a frog. Um, like a muscle spasm. Yeah, you might need to soak. Maybe take a spa day and go get in that big um, pool thing, you know? Uh, always go to the doctor, though. Get a doctor's opinion first. Sagittarius, please. And hello. <laughs> yeah, you're coming out of conflict. You're coming out of internal conflict as well as external conflict. This is a new process. Like I said, it's a transformation. You're getting ready to start a new beginning, a new chapter. And you're trying to, um, your focus right now, I believe, is to do it with peace, to do it with, like you wanna ease into this thing. You, I don't want no trouble, you know? I don't want no smoke, I don't want no trouble, okay? And you're definitely determined to uh, apply the knowledge that you've gained throughout this experience called life um, so that it can create wisdom and you can start mastering the ability um, to basically to stay positive and abundant. You know, that's just where you are right now as far as your mindset, okay? And I like that. Crown this energy, please, for said hello. All right, four swords is crowning and that's the relaxation. Yeah, you gotta make peace. This is the peace that's coming in. If you pull down from four swords, let's talk about four swords for a second. This is rest. This is uh, relaxation. This is contemplation. This is understanding. Okay. Now it's not perfect energy because three of these swords have already stabbed you before. That's the thing. Okay. So you still coexist in the world with things that hurt you in the past. Okay, people, places, things, whatever. All right. The fourth sword, the one that she's touching, is the one that she would now has and understands that she can use to protect herself. You understand? So, whatever has hurt you or affected you or uh, brought you down or, or created conflict in your life in different stages of your life, because Five of Wands for me, definitely in this energy. Um, th these are different. Um, ooh, help me with my words. It's like different stages of 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 maturity as well as of tr um, trials and tribulations. So maybe what you went through when you were twelve, and then what you went through when you were fifteen, and then well, you know what happened when you were nineteen, and then when you were twenty seven, and. You, you, you know, the five of wands, you know, sometimes as we're growing and we're going into new chapters, that transition from the old to the new, old 
transitions start to come up and cause conflict. So it's no different from like what you, I guess, would call PTSD, you know? But now you know that, hey, I know how to defend myself. I know how to speak up for myself. I know how to protect myself. Some of you uh, may have learned this from others, okay, with this Three of Pentacles. Um, also, you may have um, gone to therapy or you may be in therapy now and you're just learning that maybe I've been fighting something that honestly, I don't have to anymore. You, I'm still fighting something that no longer has access to me. You know, I'm still defending myself uh, from something that I don't need validation from. You understand? So those understandings coming through your energy are allowing you, um, the more you process that, to edify in spirit. And as you edify in spirit, you're raising your vibration and your frequency, which opens up a new connection or a higher level connection uh, with gifts and abilities, as well as just simple intuition. You know what I'm saying? Um and sometimes this comes in really strong and it, it, it gets weird, uh, you know, when, for those that know. Um, so when you feel like weirded out by your signals and trying to figure out who's who now, what's what, uh, because everything's getting weird, that's when that water does help you because that flow of emotion, um, it counters your natural, uh, fire, uh, element. Okay. Woo. All right, let's see what's working against you. What's in the way for Sagittarius right now? What's working against Sagittarius? Hello, the Six of Wands. All right, Sag, we talk about this all the time, and I love you. But, you know, you it's a, at some point, I think that you guys... Hold on. Because I, I, I got to remember who I'm talking to. I think at some point you have to really like be okay with other people just never ever being able to see you. Your, your, your true goodness, your greatness, your, what you contribute, what you, uh, your intentions, you know, um, how you operate, things like that. You understand? Um, I don't know. Well, I do know. I ain't gonna lie. But what I'm saying, how can I say this? Everybody is not going to go. Sag, you are. Oh, I'm trying to talk. I know you're saying just talk. All right, fine. I'll just talk. Sag, listen, you know how you are. I love you, but you know how you are. You know how you can come off rough. You can come off aggressive. You can come off judgmental. You can come off um, a bit direct and hurtful. And in your opinion, if it's somebody you love, you're willing to go to the ends of the earth to make them a better person. But sometimes it's received as bullying, aggression, malice, you know, and, um, because you're not known to be soft, you know, or you're not the mother of earth. Uh, I mean, of, uh, of, uh, love. You're not the queen of cups, king of cups energy. You're fire. You know, your passion, your confidence, you, you give people strength. So that's how you operate. And sometimes when people are in a low place, that comes off so strong that it's like overpowering. And sometimes it hurts you that they never actually see that I'm doing this out from the goodness of my damn heart. That's what you'd be saying. I'm trying to help you have a and, you know, they're looking at you like, you just being mean, you just being spiteful, you try and be smart, you know, so it hurts your feelings. And I know it does. And I know you would never let them know it does, but you and I know, you know what I'm saying, Sag? It does. It hurts sometimes. But no matter what, you know, with the seven of pentacles, even coming in to support the six of wands, what works against you, remember, is what we're talking about here. Other people not validating you, that sometimes works against you because it affects your uh, your emotions, it affects your mindset, it even affects now the next time how you'll interact with them. Because if they don't appreciate you, you ain't going to keep, get, you know, helping them, you know, it affects all of those things, okay? Because you feel like they don't see your worth and value. However, however, 
Sometimes you have to also look at you overdoing it, overdoing it, you know, overdoing it. I love you, but we talk here. Sometimes you just overdo it. Okay. So let's just say you're going through this heightened spiritual experience. You're processing your own internal battles. You're really trying to uh, uh, get through uh, the fact that you've been hurt. You've been shamed. You've been embarrassed. You've been talked about. You know, you've been ostracized. You've been through all of those things. And now you know how to protect yourself and speak up for yourself, which is great self-development. But nobody is saying, Sad, you know what? I see you. So now you're trying to figure out, and sometimes it's hard for you to figure out, well, do I even continue dealing with this individual? Do I still put into this company that I know is treating me like trash? You know, is it going to help me get to where I'm trying to get to in life? Is it worth the effort? Okay. And it seems like this battle is going on in your mind like crazy or even possibly with another fire or air sign. I have to say that as well, okay? Woo. All right, past energy. I apologize that I stumbled with that because, you know, I ain't trying to get, I don't want the smoke either. I don't want y'all to be like, look, green eyes, you ain't gonna be talking to me like that. All right, past energy. I have an emperor coming in sideways and then I have the sun. So where you're coming from is a real, a great realization. The sun is a great realization. I love this energy when it illuminates the situation. It's the brightest card of the major arcana. It's the brightest card of the entire deck, actually. All right. And you know, the emperor is uh, the embodiment of all four kings, Taurian um, energy, Aries energy. It's strong. It's boss. It's um, confident, you know, it's a birthright energy, okay? Emperor and Empress is always a birthright energy. Kings and Queens, you marry and get that title, okay? But Emperors and Empresses, born, baby. It's a birthright energy. The Why it's sideways is you have been realizing how you're, or uh, trying to see how can I maintain me, but still be open to others. So you've been doing the work. You really, really have. You can't help that you uh, was a boss. You can't help that. You were born this way. So yeah, you may be a little tough. You know, you might come off a little aggressive sometimes. Sometimes you might be a little closed-minded, but that's because you were born to be a leader. You were born to be a boss, but you're realizing that this is, first of all, a very lonely position. It's always lonely at the top, right? So if you're not dealing with other emperors and empresses, they're always going to be ones that say, Sag, you know, they think they're hot stuff. You know, they think they rule the world. Well, shit. Hello? You don't know no other way. That's what they don't understand. That's what you were born to do, but you are trying to change, um, still, you know, maintain focus of the goal, but you are really have been thinking about the journey. You know, I want to be successful, but I want to keep my, I, I want to have some kind of family. I want to have some kind of friends. I want to have some kind of social engagements. I am a human friggin' being, you know? So you're actually... You, 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 you did the, you did the darn thing and you actually called judgment on yourself. That is so big for you. And, and, and I know people don't get that. They don't even understand how much you love you. <laughs> I'm just saying. So for you to actually say, I'm willing, you know, to make some changes or to at least try to understand your perspective. That's a lot for you to do that. That's a lot for you to do that. And the fact that you're not even being acknowledged for that is hurtful. It makes it harder because then you fight within yourself. Like, what am I even doing this for? You know, what's the point? 
Ooh, Sag, you've been busy. You've been busy within your mind and spirit and growth, and you have been just busy. Uh, where are we? Okay. So where we're going with this was the Queen of Pentacles, and I like that because it's uh it's um common ground. I love common ground. Queen of Pentacles, you know, she's the mother of Earth. She's common ground. She's um the the soil, you know. She's fertile soil. Uh, she's a builder. She's a planner. Um, she's an investor, and I love fertile soil. You know, new beginnings. That's that's the thing, new beginnings. Uh, it's even coming in with the five of pentacles. I'll take it. I'll take it because that's just your story. And some people just have that story. You're just not meant for everybody. You're just not. You're not meant for everybody. Some people will never understand you. And um, as hurtful as that is, that uh, sometimes I know you don't have no problem with saying that's a they problem. But I know it's lonely. That's the thing. You know, I know it's lonely. So going forward, as you're trying to kind of re, re, um, turn your ground, re, I don't know, I'm not a gardener, but whatever they do when they turn the ground to re, to replant, while you're working on that, your new direction or this new project or this new change, you know, you may feel isolated or separated or misunderstood. Um, this might even affect your finances if this is a job change. But you also know, realize, and have been privy to see with the sun that you can be happy about things working in your favor because of the judgment that you called, either on friends, family, how you interact with them and, um, or how they interact with you with this three of uh, cups here. Okay. It feels sometimes that no matter what you do or say, it's never right. And I'm not going to lie to you. Um, it, it just does. It feels sometimes no matter what you do or say, uh, it's never right. You know, it always bites you in the butt. You know what I'm saying? But when you look at it, not with your fire, not with this water, take passion, take um, emotions out of the situation. When you look at it from a logical perspective and handle it with an intelligent tongue, the truth, even if it hurts, is still the truth. And if, if the truth has never done nothing for you, it has always allowed you to get back to who you are, back to that fire, back to that passion. No matter what, if you can go round and round the Mary, Mary, Mary what, what, what is it? The mulberry bush. We can go round and round a mulberry bush. Okay. But at the end of the day, dealing with you, Sag, even when you're dealing with yourself, when you actually put facts on the table, the meat and potatoes, it is what it is. And that's something you've always been okay with at the end of the day. The truth. You understand? The realness. The facts. Show me the numbers. Show me the stats. Because that's how, at the end, that's something that's um, untainted with you. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So, all foolishness aside when we dealing with facts it's like okay i can try this i can get back to me you know i can actually learn how to juggle this thing i can listen to you sometimes and sometimes i need you to listen to me okay because over i think in this process if you're resonating with this energy you are really making an effort to see things with a divine eye uh, Piscean energy here with the hangman. You're making an effort. How would my, how would, how, like, uh, what is it? WWJD. <laughs> you know, you're trying to see things through a divine eye. Okay. And that's what those, you know, even, even if it's a parent's eye, you know, what would my dad say? What would my mom say? You know, you're really trying. You, you're, you're trying to take in all uh, the facts, I want all perspectives, per, per, yeah, perspectives, 
Oh, Lord, you got to help me with my vocabulary. Um, yeah, perspectives. All right. You're looking at all perspectives and that actually allows you to just slow down, not stop, but sometimes just slow down so that you're thinking 50 miles a minute. Sometimes you're moving a hundred miles a minute. And sometimes you're looking at people like, what's wrong with you? And they looking at you running around like a chicken without a head. And they ain't thinking them, that's the same thing. What's wrong with you? <laughs> so when we can slow down, then we can step back into comfort, abundance, success, being in tune, you know? leaning into divine timing, all right, as an independent energy. And though it is stressful sometimes, nine of swords, trying to figure out other people in their situations or the job and what you're going to do about that or the kids and what's going to happen with that and or this and what do I need to do with that. It's stressful sometimes trying to foresee things, okay, and figure out how much of yourself should you get. Should I help? Should I not help? Should I do this? I don't know. They might get offended. What, what, what if they get mad? Like, it's, I don't know why. Ain't nobody trying to live their life on no damn eggshells. We're not doing that. Okay? We're not doing that. But when you get right back, see, whenever you get through this, whenever you get this, this um, conflict energy, because it starts with the mind and then it manifests um, into matter, into tangible life, you know? nine of swords with that seven of pentacles then let's go back to the facts let's get back to the meat and potatoes the queen of swords you know the process of life for all of us is about all uh, learning and teaching learning and teaching okay the king and queen of swords do both all right they deal with facts they deal with meat and potatoes, okay? So I'm going to teach you what I expect. Basically, this is what you're saying in this energy with this queen. I'm going to tell you how I feel, what I expect, um, how I see things, and maybe somebody else when they come to you, because if you're operating in queen energy, they can't come to you with no foolishness. So they're going to say the same thing. They're coming to you with facts, you know? You might even be dealing, like I said, with this conflict might be with an air sign, you know, and they're selling you their truth. All right. So if you're dealing with an air sign and this conflict is about an air sign or um, it was something else. Fire, another fire sign even. But just know this. They are really telling you their truth. OK, even th though you guys might not agree, it is their truth. That's why I think God has given you a divine eye so that you can see they're not attacking. They're not trying to be smart. And you're, uh, I think God has given them that same divinity to see that you're not attacking and you're not trying to be smart. That's the beauty of this energy. I feel like it's bouncing. Remember I said that earlier, like a ping pong, ping pong. So now going forward, we can move in with quality. We're not accepting foolishness. Everybody's on the same page. You can get back to... Uh, protecting yourself because that's just the only way you know to live right now. That's going to change later as you as you develop. But it's a creative new way to operate. It's a creative new way to communicate. You know, it's a creative new way to handle things when you think they're being mishandled behind your back. It's a creative new way to display emotion or even allow yourself to receive emotion. And as these skills and uh, develop through these opportunities of engagement, now you're going to be ready for a whole new set of an emotional experience, the washing and replenishing of divine waters. Okay. The rejuvenating divine waters. This is God's love in a cup, the ace of cups. It's It will clean and wash and reconcile if it needs to. Whatever you need it to do, it can do. It's God's love, you know? But that's later on. For now, you know, it might be hard out here for a pimp. But Sag, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Make peace with that. Make peace where you are. Make peace with yourself. 
keep your peace, protect your peace. And know that as long, I've always told you, as long as you're operating with no malice in your heart and in your spirit, let God be God and you be sage, you know? All right. I hope this helps. If any event you say green eyes, I don't know about this one. This one might not be for me. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon or rising this time. Just don't take this energy. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everybody thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel, all right? If you're interested in more content, I post more content with a membership at Boomstick level gets full access. Leap of Faith gets a little too. They both get free giveaways on a monthly basis. Jump on board, okay? Plant a seed. Other than that, guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time.